calendar, a one-of-a-kind sensory-friendly event is coming this weekend to the St. Paul River Center. That's right. The Fraser Festival raises money to increase access to critical programs and services for families impacted by autism. This morning we're joined by autism advocate and artist Lindsay Moreland. Nice to have you here. Social media dog influencer Coda the Fluff, dog, flu dog fluencer, yeah. I guess, and her owner Gina McKinstry. Uh, and both Coda and Lindsay will by way be at the event this weekend. And, you know, Coda just came into the newsroom and pretty much took over. Coda had a bigger entourage than anybody we've ever had before. <laughs> That's all. Just gonna and put that out there. And she does have a driver's license, we understand. Yep, so she does. She's she's, it's okay for so her to So it's legal, legal everyone. Road legal. All right, well, let's <laughs> get to you, Lindsay, first. A, a, a huge advocate for people who have autism, who have been affected or impacted by it. Tell us kind of how you came into this. Yeah, so um, I was diagnosed by Frazier at 28 months and a couple years later, in 2017, my family and I decided it would be nice to write a book on autism just to teach people, everyone, just to educate and understand what it's like living with it. So my family and I wrote our family story, Autism, A Family Lives Beyond the Label. So there's six co-authors, so it's like their own perspective, like my own perspective, what it's like living with autism, my sister as a sibling, my mom and dad as parents, and my grandma living with a grandchild with autism, and my aunt Linda is a ghost writer. Wow. Wow, I, you know, I don't know if there's a book out there with all those different perspectives, and that, that's unique. And then also, uh, you are an artist, and that is yes. something it sounds like you were kind of born to be, born to create. Tell us about what that's like, and, and how maybe it, it is helpful for you? Yeah, so growing up, I loved doing art. It's pretty much my therapy throughout my life. And then art became my gift of talent when I was 13 years old. Growing up, like, I was fascinated with the Titanic. So almost every day after school, I would draw the Titanic. And I just love doing different things like animals, still life, people and celebrities. I've been doing like graphite pencil drawing and then later doing pen and ink and color pencil. You're clearly talented. Thank Tell you. me now if I have this wrong, but did you draw a picture of Coda, which is kind of what inspired the book? Yep, that's right. So back in 2021, I was randomly on Facebook, like watching random videos, and then this video of Coda popped up. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's like the cutest thing I've ever <laughs> seen in my whole entire we life. Agree. It just put a smile in my face. And then, yeah, and then a month later, I was like, oh my gosh, it'll be so much fun to draw Colda. And then I draw Colda the fluff and I shared it on Facebook and Instagram and I tagged her and immediately I got a response. I'm like, I haven't expected a response that quick. It's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to talk, uh, so you, you, I, it's understandable why you're fascinated by Coda. And uh, Gina, if you could just tell us, you have worked with this organization and obviously CODA helps kind of bring a little bit of media attention to uh, having a pup that is so popular on Instagram and yeah. other social media sites. Yeah, absolutely. So CODA is actually a therapy dog um, and that's how she got started was with the car is driving in and out of hospital rooms, helping distract people, you know, from their medical issues or whatever they're dealing with stress. Um, and so when Lindsay messaged us, it was just really cool. Um, it was something different. She's trying to high five Look me right it. now. <laughs> Get that. Can I have a high five? <laughs> Thank yes. you. So when Lindsay messaged us, we were just, I just thought it was awesome. It was so unique. I thought it was cool. She took the time. And so Coda does a lot of educational projects as well. We actually pull her over with uh, local law enforcement to teach safe driving practice <laughs> reminders. And so I thought it'd be great if Lindsay illustrated a book of one of these instances. So kind of fallen together and been really perfect. Can you do the high five one more time? <laughs> you want to do another high five? missed it earlier. Yeah, yeah, she's got to have, she's um, into it. She's got to have motivation. Sure, understandable, oh, we oh, all do. Get, you want to do it? Oh, yep, a treat. You want to put your hand out? A treat. High five? Yeah. High five. High five. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> she and what work. will Coda be doing at this event? So Coda will be there with Frazier, with Lindsay. We're going to have some books available, but mainly just cheering everybody up and giving them a smile and bringing some positive vibes and, and laughs and, you know, promoting pet encouraged. therapy. Oh yeah, okay, pictures great. of Coda. Oh, absolutely. Probably <laughs> yeah. it'll be a long line. Oh. Uh, Lindsay, we just want to, uh, if you can, for people out there who might have some misconceptions about people with autism, what would you say that they maybe they need to know? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so um, growing up, it wasn't easy. There are so many challenges, but it's okay because you have family for support who love and care about you. And I shared a story before I didn't want to because I wanted to keep it a secret because I was afraid to be picked on even more. But then when I saw Temple Grandin when I was 17, that completely changed my life. So just like her, I want to be a motivational speaker. I want to share my art and I want to to make century friendly shirts and my aunt and I are co-authors for the children's book so we can help children of all ages to better understand what it's like living with autism yeah and then just want to make a difference wow. will you explain a century friendly shirt yes what does that mean? growing up um, there's so many types of clothing that I was really extremely sensitive to so I want to help other people who struggles with the same thing so we made the shirt to make it more comfortable. Is it really soft? Absolutely. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yes. And, red. and Temple Grandin, uh, she's a, a wonderful example of someone who is uh, speaking out. She was on she the show is. a million years ago. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's well, awesome. we hope that a lot of people turn out and help support the event and, you know, the best to all of you. And I'm, I'm sure Coda will help in the process, but it's important to support people with autism and, and the families that are affected by it. Fantastic. Yeah. And Coda brought a lot of smiles to us in the newsroom today, awesome. too. And he said that's what it's all about. It's about distracting yeah. you, making you stop thinking about whatever's bothering you, yeah. and you go somewhere else, a really happy place. Lindsay, Gina, Coda, thank you for being here. Thank if you want to check out the Fraser Festival this Saturday at the St. Paul River Center, it's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and we have more information for you, Fraser.org.